Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we are finally getting into some Pokemon TCG Online booster packs. A while ago I made a video where I did a battle on the TCG Online and I told you guys I was trying to get more into the TCGO. I had you guys send me some deck suggestions if you want to see your deck in a video and I figured what better way to get the cards for these decks than to open some packs online. So here, as you can see, we are on the TCGO though and we're just gonna go ahead and open up some packs. I figured how I would do this is we're gonna open a booster box aka 36 packs of each set that we decide to open and each video will have a separate set so as you can see I have 156 fates collide I got 33 breakthrough almost enough for a booster box there we have a ton of ancient origins as well with 76 and 78 generations packs uh, so leave a comment down below what you want to see us open next but first I figured we would start off with generations because I don't know what it is about generations I just absolutely love it there's just so many super cute cards so hopefully we can pull some of those and put them into our deck but I also have some of these reward chests and other stuff like that almost have enough for a steam siege booster box I think once I go ahead and redeem some of my recent codes I should have enough for that so that'll be pretty fun but let's just go ahead and get started here with our generations booster box once again 36 packs of generations we have 78 once we get down until 42 is when we'll stop but I don't know maybe we'll open some more if we're feeling reckless I don't know uh, so let's see out of our first pack here Ooh, magma oh that Pikachu is good if we can manage to pull a couple of I choose we could get some circle circuit action going. I think it's called circle circuit. Oh wow! Are you serious? <laughs> right out of the first pack, Mega Blastoise EX. I don't even have this IRL. So that is an awesome one to go ahead and get out of our first pack. Wow, it is the Dread Launcher one though. I know the other Mega Blastoise, I don't remember which move it has, but it seems like it would be a little bit better. Um, but regardless, once again, I don't even have that card yet. Second pack, we got a Gengar with Sinister Fog and Creep. Oh, Creep Show sounds fun. If your active, if your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. Holy cannoli. Okay, so um, maybe we'll have to make a deck revolved around Gengar. Uh, imagine just knocking out like a Mega, right? Knock out a freaking Mega with a move that takes two energy. Not even bad, Gengar. Not even bad. I don't know. There's got to be some kind of loophole in that. There's no way you can just... Eh, I guess that's what the card says. What the card says is what the card does. So, ooh, I think we got a reverse rare here. Ah, Jinx. Yes, and then our regular rare, or our, uh, yeah, I guess it was a regular rare. I'm gonna say our rare slot. It's a dead trio, though. All right, we're just gonna open another. Excuse me, sir, may I have another? So we got, ah, yes, the Raichu. Once again, Circle Circuit, 20 damage times the number of bench Pokemon. That is a great one. I don't know if anyone suggested that deck, but I will prob, ah, oh, yes, I'll probably try to make a deck revolve around that, an electric type one. Ooh, okay, so we got Bubble Drain and Deep, Deep Squall. Hmm, wow. Okay, so this one is weird. 130 damage minus damage. Minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So I feel like eventually you could end up doing negative damage, right? Science! Anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can make... I know I made an electric water deck recently with a lot of my Generations cards. I was just messing around. This is like a real life deck that I made. Uh, turned out pretty good. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What are the odds of that? Another Mega Blastoise, you guys. Another one. Another one. So that's pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad. We're only a few packs in. I think we're five packs in. Feeling so, oh, so reckless. We got, oh my gosh, a Mega Venusaur. So, so far, we've got two Mega Blastoises and a Mega Venusaur. When will it end? We haven't even gotten a Radiant Collection like an, an EX or anything out of our rating collection spot. We're just killing it on the regular generation's rare spot. What is going on, man? <sighs> All right, I'm pleased. I don't know, I'm excited about this. So if you guys are enjoying the video thus far, don't forget to drop a like. I would like to give some shout outs to some of the people that I know uh, kind of donated packs or gave me some code cards to redeem for this. I'm not sure. I think a couple people did give me generations when most of them were from like the past and I just have them sitting here and I was like, I meant to, okay, we got a Parasect out of this one, so not that cool. Um, I meant to, you know, make an opening of this sooner. I just, I don't know, I think school got to me and just ran out of time. But uh, once again, we are going to give some shout outs here. Ooh, ah, Doug Trio. Or Doug Trio, Dodrio, though. So shout out to Abel, Tyler, 
Marcus, who I know Marcus sent a crap ton of codes cards, a lot crap ton of code cards. I'm pretty sure that's why I have so many Fates Collide codes. So thank you so much, Marcus. Uh, we have Michael, another Tyler. So apparently Tylers are just really into donating code cards to, you know, the super duper Danny cause. So thank you for that, Tyler. Uh, Nick the Watermelon, fun username there. J, not JYT Gamer, it's just another fellow Pokey, Pokey Pal. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, I love this Flareon card and a Jinx, so that's awesome. Awesome Radiant Collection Flareon. So, yeah, another Pokey Pal named Jake, Jake, J, oh my gosh, and then Josh. So thank you so much, you guys, for donating codes or sending me some It was totally, like, not, like, I, I didn't even ask for codes or anything. They were just nice enough to send them, like, in a DM or on Instagram or something. So thank you so much for that. You're really helping make these videos possible. So we got a Gyarados out of that one. I actually use this in a different water deck that I have. Berserker Splash and Aqua Tail actually <laughs> freaking kills it if you can get this out there in, in a decent manner and get four energy on it. So you flip a coin for each water energy attached. It does 30 more for each head so I mean if you have four or even two water energy on it you're doing pretty well out there two water energy and a, a DCE would would suffice I would say but holy cannoli Whew. man that Flareon is beautiful so we're slowing down a bit here notice we aren't getting as many EXs oh fan club I do love me some fan club uh, so hopefully this one has some EXs. Yes, Sylveon! I actually use this one in my fairy deck because the dress up, if you attach a tool card to it, it does 30 more. And if the tool card is, say, Muscle Band or Fighting Fury Belt, you're already doing even more than that. And then Precious Ribbon, Precious Ribbon works extra well with Fairy Transfer and some other stuff. You can heal some extra damage there uh, for, like, no additional cost. It's great. So... Parasect, but Sylvia, and that card is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. <sighs> so, yeah, once again, let me know which which um, set you want me to open next. I don't really know which one I want to open next. I haven't really put much. Oh my god, we've gotten so many of that Jinx card, but we did get Slurple Durple. That's exciting. Slurple Durple, my dude. I'm thinking Fates Collide, though, just because there's so many packs of that, and I might do, like, an additional bonus booster box on my second channel. Cons oh my gosh! Seriously. Seriously. Jinx. I, I don't know what to say at this point. Like, what what is your deal, lady? What's your freaking deal? I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, another Raichu. Another Raichu, another fan club, Shauna. These are all staple. Well, these two are pretty much staples in pretty much every deck that I make. So we got a reverse slowpoke, very cool. And a pincer. <sighs> I think there's a bug in here. I think there's a fly. I don't see, I don't understand. I have a screen, right? And somehow flies still manage to get in the screen and then they get stuck between the screen and the window on the inside. And it's like, what well what what were you at what, what were you expecting to happen from this fly? You know what I'm saying? What were you expecting? I don't know. Nobody really knows. <laughs> Except for the fly. Huh. So we got a Charmeleon. I noticed the Charizard card in here is pretty cool. I don't know if I could make a whole deck revolver on it, but it's still a cool card. We got an Imakuni. Very nice. And oh my gosh! I feel like we've got how many regular rares are there in this set? Because we're getting an overabundance of like the same ones. We got Parasect and Jinx. I don't know about the other ones, but now we got a Paris just to put salt in the wound there. Very nice. We got a new energy switch. And, oh my god, there's, how, this isn't right. This is so wrong. I don't know how, wh why, Pokemon, why are you doing this? <sighs> I don't know, but I just smashed on a couple, oh, the triple threat. The triple threat. I just smashed on, oh my gosh, yes, 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 um, mm, 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 yeah. Okay, I got a little excited there. We got Hitmonlee and a Ninetales. That was probably the best pack we got so far. We got a full art rating collection and a Ninetales, or a regular EX. Is this a reverse too? Yeah, we got a reverse rare full art rating collection EX. Awesome. What I was going to say is I'm surprised I even remembered this because of how short my attention span is. I just smashed on a couple slices of deep dish pizza, so I'm like feeling it, Mr. Krabs. And I'm in a weird mood today, so hopefully this video isn't too, like, annoying or whatever. Hopefully you just, like, to I, I just enjoy listening to Danny talk to herself in her bedroom. How fun. So we got a Rapidash. Ooh. What does this guy do? I don't know. We could consider putting this one in a deck. Flip a coin if heads prevent all damage. No, all effects of attacks. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. 20 damage to one of... Oh, nah, that... Okay. Nah, nah. Rapidash. It's okay. He looks really cool, but... Not that playable, I would say. So we got a new Flabebe. Cool. 
I didn't, how did I not, oh, it must be because it's a reverse. I was like, how did I not have Magikarp yet? <laughs> like, really bad. Oh, Gyarados. Cool, so we could, I mean, if we really wanted to. The deck that I have with that Gyarados in it has a Manaphy as well. It's the Manaphy Full Art. I don't remember what set it's from, but it, like, it's basically a free retreat cost for any Pokemon. It's basically the Fairy Garden of water types, except for it's a Pokemon instead of a stadium. So you can retreat for free if you have water energy. So we got a Golem and a Hrapidash. I was got a little baby Swirlix with the Macaroons. I love the Macaroons. Okay, open another. I would love to open another. So we got, oh, another Raichu. Cool, so that Raichu deck could really become a thing. And that's our first Jirachi. Cool. And Ivali. So Hitmonlee, not bad. We already pulled a couple of those already though, so nothing new that ooh, you know what happens when we got the dub. Let's see. Flareon, yes. And a no, another Gengar. Cool. Getting all creepy at the creep show. So this one, the Blaze Ball move is not bad. Um, so you get 20 more damage for each fire energy attached to this. I mean if you put three fire energy on it to start, you already got 110 for three energy. And what is this? Once during your turn before you attack, you may move a Fire energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know if there's some kind of way to like put fire somewhere else and then move them up. You know, that's solid. So Flareon, adorable. I could definitely see me making a deck around that one because it seems like a decent card too because it's so freaking adorable. Absolutely adorable. And oh my, we're over it. We're so over it. Like, oh my gosh. So I think we're about two thirds of the way through our booster box already, which is so exciting. Another fan club. Good one there. And another nine tails. Wow. All right. Well, shoot. Not even bad. I didn't read the move. See, now that I'm getting into like TCG competitiveness, competitiveness TCG, that's okay. Yeah, we're going with it. Uh, I'm looking at the moves a lot more, and I, I didn't used to do that. It's kind of fun. So. This one, uh, I don't know, because I, I feel like a lot of the fire Pokemon, I know there's Blacksmith as well, but you have to discard so many energy for using their moves. I don't know why it's always fire types. Like, I was looking at cards that I have in my trade binder, and oh, yes, 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 awesome. That one's going to my fairy deck, and oh, another Raichu. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This is great. I'm, I'm so happy we did this, you guys. It's great. So great. But anyways, I was looking at my trade binder, and a lot of the fire Pokemon that I had in there, because I was going to make a fire deck, you had to discard, like, three fire energy, two fire energy, whatever it is, all of your fire energy to use one attack. And, and the attacks were super powerful, but it was just like, holy cannoli. Ooh, Meowstic. Cool. I've not seen that one in a while. I think I pulled that in one of the mythical Pokemon collection boxes, or one of, like, the earlier red and blue ones. Um, either way, generation stuff. It's killing it out. Oh, another Flareon. <laughs> and another Pinsir. Pinsir. So awesome. I wish I would have, like, made a tally. Oh my god, I'm losing my, my voice here. I wish I would have, like, made a tally for how many of each, you know, you know, each EX or whatever, ultra rares, how many of this and that we got. Oh, yes. Look at the texture. Wow. <laughs> it looks so weird online because you can't see the texture. I mean, it's like, you know, you can kind of see it, but it's not like there. Um, anyways, maybe at the end I'll put like a total after I edit it and uh, we can see how many out of 36 packs. Well, that's our first Charizard. How many goodness things out of 36 packs we got. So we got, ah, oh, my champ, yeah, cool. And a Toro, so I think this one is originally a holographic, so it's cool that we got one in reverse. All three of those were new to our collection, so that's interesting. All right, let's see, we got, ah, oh, Charmander, yeah. Oh, the triple threat, let's go, boys, triple threat. Whew, yes, Flareon EX. Full art. Oh my god, I feel like we've gotten so many of this one specifically. Like, where are the other... Oh, we did get a Vaporeon, too. Just the Jolteon is being ever evasive. We have a Rapidash. Okay, Rapidash Reverse. Rare Reverse. Can't complain about that. And a Hitmonchan. <laughs> so, really, the only cool one was a Flareon, which is, I think, probably our fourth Flareon from the unboxing. That's fine. That's casual. That's nice. Uh, we got another Imakuni red card. Shuff your opponent shuffles her hand into her deck and draws four. <sighs> I don't know. I don't, okay, for these, I don't get why. Okay, so they put his or her hand into his or her deck. Why don't they just put their hand into their deck? Is that... Maybe it's not proper grammar. 
but I don't know, it just seems like, <laughs> like I saw one card that had that, but it was like a couple sentences of talking about it, so they had to say his or her, his or her, his or her, his or her, so many times, and it was just like, it's, this is just absurd, just right there, <laughs> that, that encompasses everything. Wow, our first DCE of the opening, we got a Cloyster, I do have this one in another deck as well, and a Leafeon, yo, I totally forgot about Leafeon, Glaceon is in here as well, I've pulled so many of that, no, it's Glaceon. Never mind that. Glaceon is in Fates Collide. It just opened some Fates Collide cards, and that's what confused me there. But wow, Leafeon. Totally forgot about him. I don't know. I, I feel so bad. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, so we got a Charmeleon. We got another Wally Wally. We got a <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Jinx, what are you doing, man? Okay, let's see how many packs. We have 43 packs left, so I take it. After this one, this is our second to last pack. So our sexy pack pick is coming up after this. Even though I didn't get to pick it, it's still like till you get to pick it. So Snorlax. Oh, actually, I haven't got that one yet. Okay, cool. Snorlax, not bad. We did get Raichu and Pikachu in the same pack, and we got a Pokemon Center lady supporter. <laughs> so this is technically going to be the last pack of our opening, but. I kind of want to, if we don't get anything crazy out of this one, we're going to do one extra bonus pack on the end to see if we can finish strong. <laughs> that was probably the best way to end this. Oh my gosh, like this is not, how can this possibly be happening? This is not randomized. There is statistically way too many jinxes in here. All right, this is the last one. Hopefully we can we can finish on a grand note. We have two cards here. So we got at least a reverse rare, I know that. So we got a Gyarados reverse rare and a, oh my gosh. This um Pokemon is trolling me oh so hard right now. What is your deal, Pokemon? I'm just trying to open Pokemon cards. Y'all Y'all trying to jinx me out here. <sighs> All right, so that ought to do it for today's booster box. 37 packs if you want to go ahead and say that, but I had a grand old time opening these with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment below, let me know what you want to see me open next, or let me know what your favorite card from the unboxing was. I really, really like that Mega Gardevoir, the full art one. The colors on that, like the black, like the darkness with it, just makes it, I don't know, it just makes it pop. So I'll show you guys all of the packs that I have. Oh, I don't know. See, because I got to have one that has 36 packs to open. So a lot of my earlier ones, this was from way back when, like, the code cards didn't have a specific specific set on them like you just redeemed a code card and you can get whatever pack you want and then it started with I think plasma storm is where it started being like a code card was for the specific set that it came out of that was kind of a weird concept but anyway so we have once again 41 generations packs left 76 ancient origins 33 breakthrough I'm gonna try to find three more so we can go ahead and make a booster box of that if you guys want to see that crap ton of fates collide ah oh, not enough flash fire I feel like I Maybe I opened those back in the day. I don't know. I probably opened them up like off camera, which is kind of, you know, opening cameras, opening cameras, opening packs off camera for me is so strange now. Like I did it the other day. I pulled something good and I was just like, man, if I, I should have recorded this. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to do leisure pack openings as well. So actually, I want to open one of these just to see what it is so you guys can experience what's in a reward chest. Um, and then we'll call it a day and I'll send you guys on your way and you can just, I don't know, do whatever you want to do. If you do want to check out, oh, I got to push this. If you want to check out any of our other Pokemon pack openings, I have a ton of IRL pack openings. So you can go see me open packs in real life. We did get a Lucario. It's a hollow from Fates Collide, which is super random. So we got a coin and a random Pokemon holographic. Cool. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Stay tuned, hopefully soon, for some Pokemon online battles, which will probably start showing up after I go ahead and open a bunch of more of these packs. Because I do want to get enough to, you know, go ahead and make some crazy decks uh, that you guys suggested. So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!